Purdy makes a lot of anticipatory throws, and you're a great route runner. It seems like you guys are almost made to play together. Um, what's it been like this summer repping it on the field with him? You know, it's been a pleasure. Obviously, um, he's one of the top quarterbacks in the league right now. So, you know, going into a, you know, a system with a quarterback like that, it's a great blessing for myself. It's made everything easier, you know, just chopping it up with him each and every day. His locker is actually right next to mine. So I get to talk to him each and every day and, you know, going up to him and just having a normal conversation, like what can I get better at? Um, and then just ask some questions about the playbook and getting feedback from the quarterback. So because once you start seeing it through a quarterback's lens then it just becomes that much easier for a receiver. So just to continue to develop that trust and um, that connection with him. Does your background with IU make him the guy that you sort of go to to ask questions about wide receiver? What, what's your interaction with him been like this summer? Yeah, I've definitely asked some questions. You know, he's like I was going back to he's one of the best receivers in the league. So, you know, any kind of information I can get from him, you know, it's going to ben only benefit my game. And obviously we played together in college. So uh, he was a guy that I got to look up to as a freshman coming in and being like, that's what a pro looks like. And now it kind of just, you know, wrapped all the way back around and now we're here together. So being able to like look what he does throughout his entire day and ask him questions about, you know, what it's like to be in the league and the system and some things I can work on in my game that he may see in the film room. So a lot of guys have been around here for a long time that Get, you know, workload manage, get vet days, things like that. One guy that isn't is Debo. What, what, what kind of tone does it set knowing that every day, number one, is going to be out there and uh, given, you know, everything he's got in practice? Yeah, he's a tone setter, man. Um, he's he's obviously an experienced vet. He's had a lot of success in uh, his years here. And, you know, being a young guy coming in and seeing that, you know, that's important for me because, you know, obviously he's set in the, the tone for the room. And being able to see that and going out there and attacking each day like he is. And, you know, it just makes it that much more fun when you're out there, you know, uh, seeing a vet guy right next to you, and you're just having fun with him and going out there and being competitive each and every day. Is that more his style is kind of lead by example rather than, you know, talking? No, he's, he's got both. He's got both for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He talks.